guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu and today we are trying a few new products out. It's mainly Mco Beauty launches, which is pretty exciting. They sent me a parcel of a few of their new launches. So I kind of saw on social media, everyone that received a PR box got something a little bit different tailored to what they think that we would like, which I love. I think the most exciting one is the Miracle Flawless Pressed Powder. This is the translucent one, and yes, it looks just like Charlotte Tilbury. Emco Beauty is well known for duping, basically, I want to say Charlotte Tilbury, maybe a little bit of Rare Beauty, a few different products, but honestly, they really just come for Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> and I got two color correctors that we'll use today. I got the green and the peach, and then I also got a lipstick in the shade Luxe Pink. Now I did show these on my Instagram and TikTok, but I thought we could actually get ready together and talk about it a little bit more in depth. Um, I also have a blush that I still haven't used properly from Rare Beauty, the Grateful shade, the red. Also from um, Emco Beauty, we have a new shade of the Magic Brows, which is one of my favorite products in the shade Auburn. My Kiko Milano lip gloss I thought might go nicely over the top of the lipstick. But we'll just see how we go. I just bought a few different things and then we can kind of pick and choose as we go. So it's been a long time since I've done I Get Ready With Me. So I don't even, it's like, forgotten how to do all of this. Um, do I have a primer? I don't have a primer. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right, so I have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Uh, I have the shade 2 Neutral. I just recently filmed... I feel like this one might go up first. I'm not really sure. I just film and then do as I please. <laughs> I don't look tanned, but I have more color than I usually do in winter. So I've pulled out my darker shaded products to use for the next month of February because if you are not Australian, it is Australia, it is Australia here. Yeah, that's true. It is summer here. So I have been getting a little bit of sun and I have noticed that my usual foundations have been a little bit too light. Just a touch, but as soon as something's a little bit too light, it really washes you out. I got a little bit of color when I was overseas in Nigeria, so I've kind of kept that by, you know, being out in the garden, going to the beach, always wearing sunscreen, so I'm not burning, but I'm definitely, my freckles are coming out. Let's just say that. So this is usually too dark for me, but I think it's pretty good now because it's a neutral, but it's really not neutral. That, that You can even see that's yellow. So that's good. I get to use the products that I haven't been able to use in other, other months. I really like how natural this looks. I've used about one and a half pumps. For concealer, I've actually got the Emco Beauty. This is in my everyday makeup drawer just by chance that we're doing lots of Emco Beauty. This is in the shade Ivory, um, same as the others. It has been, you can kind of see too dark for me in other, in other months. So I can use it now. Cause that's one thing, Emco Beauty is not great with shade range. I think as they're growing, they're doing a little bit better. Um, and I mean, I'm not talking about just me, I'm talking about all shades, like they are a bit limited. But did you see, if you follow Trend Mood on Instagram, Emco Beauty has officially launched in America. I saw that and I was like, that is wild, like a proper international launch. Like how often does an Australian brand go international? It doesn't. Oh my God, I didn't use the correctors. It's too late now. It's too late. I'm going to have to save them for another video. Silly me. I'm so sorry. I'm not starting this. I'm not starting this again. I am not doing this all over again. That's all right. I'll save it for the next video. Yeah, so they've launched all their products in America. I don't know what store it's at or if it's just online. But to make it to trend mood, they would have I reckon they would have paid for that. That's that post I would I'd imagine trend mood is so big now that they would be getting paid posts 
Although they don't mention that it's paid, do they? It's confusing because they're not, she's not an influencer, but she is. It's, I don't know, I don't know what the line is there, it's a little bit blurred. Anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. So, it'll be interesting to see if it does do really well or, you know, there's a lot of people that don't support Enco Beauty because of their blatant copying, which I understand. I totally understand. I understand both sides. But you've also got to understand how many brands copy Charlotte Tilbury. Just think about it. Even the packaging. Elf. No one no one went off at Elf for doing it. I think we've got to pick and choose our battles. But I do understand. Like, that is Charlotte Tilbury's intellectual property. And it's just been... Every brand has taken a slice of Charlotte Tilbury. But she's also a multi multi-millionaire so it's not even affecting her because the people that are buying the dupes aren't really buying her products anyway and the people that are buying her products are repeat buying her products or they're like me and buying everything <laughs> okay so i think the only other cream product i have is this do i do this first before powder the thing is no i can't i've got to do powder bronzer and then blush let's just the way that I do things and I can't not do that it really bothers me when it's out of my out of my um, pattern so here's the Emco Beauty Miracle Flawless Press Plow Pressed Powder in Translucent I haven't actually checked their website if they have I'm assuming they have other shades or maybe they just have this and a deeper translucent but I don't actually know I'm just looking at my mirror here is looking pretty undetectable. I find some pressed powders look cakey on me. I do prefer a loose. I just like the finish of it a bit better. But it does not look like I'm wearing powder at all. Let me do a little zoom up. I should probably zoom up anyway. Shouldn't I? Yeah, you cannot see this powder on my face. Right? It looks really good because Charlotte Tilbury is famous for her pressed powder. More the tinted ones though, I think. But that is nice. It's not brightening, which is good. It's just setting my face. That looks lovely. I have used this once before, but I feel like I'm really seeing it this time. Hmm. Nice. Um, I'm going to quickly do my brows. I've got my CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Soft Blonde. Okay, so my bronzer is my Revlon Skin Lights in Cantan. She's a fave and good for summertime right now. It's, I would say it's a little bit deeper and it's got a bit of pigment to it. So I really do love it in these warmer seasons. It's one of my favorite bronzers. It's such a high quality formula. Emco Beauty launching in America is great for me because all I do is use Emco Beauty on my channel and Americans and international people don't know who it is. So if this brand does well overseas, that's just, that's just great for me personally. <laughs> and it might even boost my full face of Emco Beauty videos. Be like, well, what is this brand? So yeah, it just gives me like a nice, very, Seamless bronze. I enjoy it. Uh, okay, so we're going to do the blush or do we do my eyes? I might do my brows with the new Auburn Magic Brows from Emco Beauty. I already have the blonde, which is perfect for me. See, I don't have blonde brows, but it's got like a nice neutral tone to it. Whereas this Auburn is a little bit darker. But I think I can get away with it. So I'm going backwards first because this has got fibers in it. So you get the fibers in there to fill the brow and then you go this way to set it. And you do that with any brow gel really because you want to get the whole lash coated and then you're going to set it. What do we think? See, this isn't my natural brow color, but because I have red hair, it's okay. Like I can definitely get away with using it. I definitely need to groom my brows, so let's just put that into consideration. But otherwise, I think it looks good. Super easy because it's not overly wet. 
it's a little bit of a dry formula which is perfect I hate it when they're overly wet because it's tinted it just shows up on your skin which I don't like but I find this for a tint pretty easy I will admit I am generally a more of a clear brow gel person because it's less messy but I think that's okay it's a little bit darker than what I usually go for but if I was doing like full makeup I think this would be totally fine okay so the blush situation is going to be really intense so I will do this first and then I can decipher what eye look I'm going to do because this blush is, is the look really. So this is the shade Grateful from Rare Beauty. I have one other. I have the mini of, I want to say it's Hope. I'm going to put this on the back of my hand. But I haven't, oh, I use this on my face. I can't even remember if I have or if I haven't. So I've got like a foundation brush and I'm really going to work it on my hand because I don't want to overdo it. I can always add more if I need to. But I like that this is like a warm red. It kind of gives me like snow white vibes. See, that's already going to be too much. That's why I like, I think the Rare Beauty blush, the other one that I have is stunning. But that one is not overly pigmented. So I understand why they're pigmented because they can adapt to different skin tones. Like I totally get that. But for my skin tone, I don't really get the hype. I don't think I get it. I've just used the tiniest amount and it's too much. And I don't like that in a product. I don't like it when you can't, when it's too much. But I do understand why everyone else likes it. Not everything can work for everyone, but that to me is too much. So I'm gonna get my sponge that I have my foundation on and just kind of go over it. Because this is the kind of blush that I would pretty much just wear in summer. But if it's too hard to work with, I just don't know if I'd even bother. And I do love a red blush. We've done it. We didn't go overboard. It looks cute. And I think it'll look good with this lipstick. So for eyes, I think I bought the Natasha Denona Mini Style Palette. And I think this will be good. I'm going to stick to... I'm not going to use this one. It's too full tone. But more of these ones over here. Okay, I think I'll start with this nice warm peachy shade. Vega. Vega. I'm still been having a lot of issues with this eye. With um, flaring up. I honestly think it's because I need to wash my eyeshadow brushes. I wasn't even really... No, because when I had a flare up in Dubai. My eyeshadow brushes were barely used and they were brand new. I don't know what's going on with my eye. I've never had hay fever before, so I don't know if it is hay fever or like allergies. But it's specifically this eye. This one does get a little bit irritated, but this one really blows up. And it's always feeling really irritated and kind of dry um, and a little bit puffy. So I don't know what it is. I need to figure that out. Because it comes and it goes, but I feel like it's like almost always there. Yeah, so that's a nice colour with this blush. I'll take a little bit of the brown matte just to deepen it up a little bit. Such a pretty, versatile palette. I love how soft it is. Because often Natasha is very pigmented, so I do appreciate how soft this one is. I'm going to get the more bronzy, the more bronzy shimmer. I might use a little bit of that, but I'm not too sure. I just want to keep it more warm. I tried wearing like a cooler tone lipstick the other day. Oh, I don't know what's going on. It looked really bad. It like looked really washed out on me. That isn't usually a problem. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'm changing. I used to love cooler tone lipsticks. But I'm finding it's not really working on me as much. Like in makeup in general. But it just could be a summer thing. We'll see how we go. Because I, I like being neutral because I can wear both cooler and warmer tone shades. But lately I haven't found that I've been, wearing, been able to wear cooler tones. So yeah, that's pretty. I'll just drag whatever's left on this brush underneath. So I did a poll on um, the community. And I'm so glad I did. I asked for your feedback on your favourite videos that I do. 
um, like the most clickable ones. I'm going to get my Ultra Matte Gel Liner in Burnish from Mel. And I was actually surprised to see the majority of you love my new Beauty in Australia videos. Those were the videos that I kind of started with. And I thought, oh, you know, this will push me through the algorithm. It never really did. But that's why I'm surprised to see that that's your favorite videos to click on of mine. Because I don't feel like they do that well. Anyway, I have one plan. I'm not, I thought about doing it today, but I also know that Mecca launches all their new stuff at the beginning of each month, which is next week. So I've decided to wait and film it next week so I have lots to talk about that is also current. Speaking of, do you see Beauty News is back? I didn't think they were going to come back. They were gone for what, like years? Years they were gone. Anyway, it's good to see them back. The only thing is they talk about stuff we don't get. That's kind of one of the reasons why I started the new Beauty in Australia. Because then we can just talk about things that are relevant to us, like Priceline, like store specific stores and where we can actually get them. But it doesn't, yeah, the video doesn't do that well. So I am surprised by that. I thought everyone's favorite was going to be Get Ready Was With Me because they tend to do pretty well. Like for me. I love this gel liner. They're so good. Like I've had mine for too long and they're still good to go. I love that. I love that. And it goes with the little blush. This is cute. I like this makeup. And then for my mascara, I have my Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Now, I think this year I won't be, I just don't think I'll be buying as much. I just think I'm at a point where I've got so much that I do love. Because I just did a declutter and I kept everything that I love. I just have this constant battle of when you buy new things it gives you opportunity for your channel to grow because people search for things but then also I guess my money you know <laughs> that's my money so you know I sometimes I think how do these people just blow up maybe because they're like I don't know I really don't know the answer but this is my hobby this is like my side hobby and it always will be, like, I enjoy doing this. But sometimes I think I find it hard to balance using what I have because everyone wants to watch what is new. It's a really difficult balance to find. And I know there is some of you out there that are happy to just watch any content. But in terms of finding new people coming in, it's often how you've searched me and found me. So you might remember which video you saw of mine that you clicked on and then subscribed. It's often going to be a review where I've bought something, you know. Anyway, I'm going to see how I go. And maybe if I do reviews, they're just going to be more for bringing new people in. And then for my loyals, it'll be this kind of videos. Because I put a lot of effort into this which is my choice, but I have very, 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 very slow growth. I don't know if that's geographical or just my content's not that good. You gotta try different ways to see what works, like, you know, throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. So I was thinking about doing that and just doing more like <clears throat> individual reviews of things that are new if I happen to get them in PR or if I am really interested in something that I would buy anyway and review it. <sighs> That's really cute. That's really cute. Okay, what do we have left? Setting spray and lips. I just did my uh, mascara, so I'm not going to do the setting spray, but my lip liner is the Ultra 3, which is Australian long wear lip liner in nude, which I thought it was in front of me and I thought it'll do. That's That was my thought process. Really good lip liner if you want an affordable one. I think these go for like five bucks at your local chemist. And my lipstick is not a perfect match to this lip liner, but I don't care. All right. We have the shade Lux Pink. Beautiful matte formula, but creamy matte. It's not drying. I did have a lip balm on underneath, so that's why it looks so hydrating. Isn't that a pretty color? It's like not something that I would usually pick out for myself, but it's really pretty. 
I think it's just a really feminine pop of color without being like loud. So I really like that. And then my set in spray is the NYX matte finish. Have I used this? I don't know. Good spray, good sprayer. I'm gonna film another video. Um, and then I'm gonna make some cookies cause my daughter's friend is visiting tomorrow for the first time. And I thought I could make them some little mini cookies. Um, I might put this on just for shits and geeks. This is from Kiko Milano, the 3D Hydro Lip Gloss in number 18. I already know I love this formula, but I've not had this shade before. Nice. I will. I hate getting lipstick on lip gloss doe foots. I think I do prefer this with like a lip liner and just this, but I still think it looks pretty. It doesn't look bad. Overall, I think my favorite product was this powder. Completely undetectable. It set my makeup, but you cannot see powder on my face. Very good, I love that. That completes the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. It's been so long since I've done a get ready with me at home. The last one I did was when I was in Dubai, which was like a month ago now. So <laughs> time flies when you're come home from a holiday and have to get straight back into it. Time flies. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.